this ride we're on? No, of course not. Because it's fictitious. We're not moving. Okay, so let's sit back, relax, and let's break this apart. So we just can't feel anything. Is this true? So we're looking at two constants. The constant spin of the globe at 1,000 miles an hour. And the constant speed of 67,000 miles per hour as we move through space around the sun. Constant speed. For us to feel no movement, all speeds must be constant in all directions. So by putting the constant speed in a box, you just think constant speed, and then another constant speed. So it all makes sense. We need to take them out of the box and work them, see how they work together. And when they work together, this is what we get. When you combine rotation with direction, one of them constant speeds changes. Rotation stays the same. But you, on the outer ring of a rotating globe, your speed in that 67,000 mile an hour direction changes. And it changes quite dramatically when you work it out. Now this has been hidden from us I think quite simply because they tell us the globe spins at a thousand mile an hour. It's all constant and that's it, it's fine. Then they put that in a box and say right it's all constant speeds. Then they go well this box of constant speed is now travelling that's 67,000 mile an hour around the sun. So, yeah, that's constant, that's constant. Or so it seems. But when you take these both out of the box and put rotation with direction, you on these points, as you rotate, the speed changes in this direction, the direction of travel of Earth around the Sun. Here we have a fairground ride. Now we have a disc that spins at constant speed. And the disc, while spinning, moves along the track. So what we're looking at is the speed along the track. So if we look at the wizard at the centre, what speed he's doing, backwards and forwards, and then you as a passenger, as you spin, what speed are you doing along the direction of the track. As you spin, you're accelerating and decelerating faster and slower along the track. So pick a person and 
watch them. Here we have a top view of our ride. The base is revolving. It's not moving side to side. Everybody in the ride is at a constant speed around the circumference of the base. If this changed in a short amount of time by say two mile per hour, people will be jolted from side to side. But this is our first constant. Our second constant. The base is revolving, it's just moving along the track. As it moves along the track, everybody is moving at the same speed. At a constant, constant speed. How have this changed? Again, by two mile an hour in a short space of time. People will be jolted forward or backwards. Now let's combine our two constants. Revolving at a constant speed and moving along the track at a constant speed. Now you're the dark green spot moving along the track. The only part of the circle moving along the track, moving at a constant speed, is the middle. point on that rotation is moving faster as a result of those two vectors. It gets bigger as it rotates.
acceleration and deceleration charts. Now this can be the ISS, it can be the moon, it can be a point on the equator. At the bottom we have degrees of rotation. On the left hand side we have our speed plus and minus. The centre green line denotes the 67,000 mile an hour Earth travels around the Sun. So let's wrap up with the physics. Rigid body rotation with translation. So we have a point of the equator of Earth. Two points. This is the North Pole looking down on Earth as it rotates and moves around the Sun. So these two points, as we rotate and get to here, are moving at 67,000 mile an hour. Both of them. But well, the tangential velocity of rotation moving a thousand that way and then a thousand that way. So you do the vector addition. 2,000 mile an hour difference in velocity over 12 hours. So short video of the calculation. Possible for us not to feel that amount of acceleration. That's what the vector addition tells us. That's what we should be doing if we're spinning and moving through space. That's the end of the globe. Work it out.